Daniel says, hey guys, I have a two-tier IFTTG network purchase from you guys, which is triggered by a YouTube channel. My plan is to add an additional two to four two-tier IFTTT networks to it. My question is, does the tier one network of any additional IFTTT networks added to the original also, excuse me, original also need to be branded like tier one in the original IFTTT network was or can all the additional tier ones just be persona based? Great question, Daniel. They can all be persona based. For YouTube channels, um, you don't need to have any branded networks to be honest with you. Uh, I, I still recommend that your, your primary network, your tier one uh, primary network is is branded anyways because you're going to want to build a brand around your channel and eventually for an associated website as well which is what I recommend because there's a lot of benefit to uh, for SEO to have an associated website plus you're really developing your own property and not just YouTube's at that point but um, so I recommend your primary IFTTT network be branded anyways but beyond that for YouTube channels especially it's easy guys because you don't need to worry about footprint issues you can stack persona network after persona network after persona network on top of that YouTube channel for just more embeds backlinks bookmarks social signals that sort of thing and they can all be persona based they would I would still theme them though um, so that they would be themed around the topic of your channel but other than that they can just be uh, persona based okay um, basically just need to know how the tier one should be set up for YouTube trigger networks when using multiple tier two IFTTT networks many thanks uh, it's very easy for every full two tier network that you purchase you're gonna have everything syndicated from one central point right from your tier uh, 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 you're gonna have one main trigger for every full two tier network right it's, it's all it is and you can connect the same YouTube channel to multiple tier one networks and each one of the tier one networks are gonna be triggered by or excuse me, each one of the tier two networks are going to be triggered by its corresponding tier one network, right? So all you have to do is set up that same trigger, uh, activate the same YouTube channel, in other words, inside of IFTTT uh, for each one of those tier one networks. So let's say that you have four full two tier networks, which would give you a total of eight rings, right? Um, or excuse me, that would be three, six... Wait, four would be what? 16 rings. Yeah, I'm sorry. Excuse me. It would be 16 rings because it would be four tier one rings and then there would be 12 tier two rings. Then all you would do is activate the YouTube channel inside of IFTTT for the four tier one rings. You would use the same channel and you can do that. There's no, there's no problem with that. Okay, so you don't. it's not a one to one ratio. In other words, you don't need to have a specific IFTTT. Um, you, it, you can't it's not that you can only have one YouTube channel per IFTTT account. I mean, it's true you can only have activate one channel in an IFTTT account, but you can activate that same channel in multiple IFTTT accounts, if that makes sense. So hopefully that uh, explains or clarifies that, Daniel. I didn't mean for that to sound confusing. For those of you that possibly that's a little bit over your head, don't worry about it. It's just um, a way to stack the networks. Do we have an image that we can grab? Let's see. Yeah, it should be on the support. Uh... Uh, or let's go to let's go to the networks page, right? We got images there. I'll just if, I want to explain this, make sure that it's um, for those of you that are visiting. Maybe, oops, that's not what I wanted. All right, well, I can't blow this image up, but for those of you that are want to see the image on your on your own, go to networks.ifttseo.com and you'll see the image right here and a tiered network here you'll see is the YouTube is the center point and and when you're stacking networks guys you're, you're gonna you you would want to use the same trigger point for each one of your tier one networks. so if you have four of them uh, then all four of them are going to be triggered by the same YouTube channel it just means you have to log in to the IFTTT account for each full two tier network which is just the tier one is all you need to do log into that account Make sure you're logged into uh, that YouTube channel or that Google account, and then activate that YouTube channel as the YouTube as the channel inside of IFTTT. And you can do that across all four. For example, if you had four full networks, which would give you a total of 16 rings, which comes out to be about 352 properties. Pretty damn powerful. That's what we do. We got a lot of our stuff built out like that um, because you know you're figuring there's about 22 properties per ring. And there's, so there's 88 properties roughly per full two tier network. So if you multiply that times four, uh, that's a lot. There's 350 some properties. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, and um, we're using that same uh, pattern for video powerhouse as well. 
since all of our domains are going to IFTTT networks, you get not only the embed on the PBN network, but also uh, on the on the website. Sorry, on the video and web embed website, but also you get all of those social uh, signals and backlinks. So that's, true, that's correct. Yeah. For example, on the video embed network, this center point is our PBN site, and what we're doing is syndicating a video or pu publishing a post on the PBN site um, that then gets syndicated to all these sites automatically. So you're getting the tier one embed on a PBN site that has good metrics, and then you get the second tier of roughly roughly 22 uh, backlinks, embed, social signals, or bookmarks from that point. So it's basically tiered. Um, very, very powerful. And we've got, I don't know, 120 sites or so in that network right now. We're planning on building it out to be about, and that's tier one, guys. With 22, rough, let's just say 20 sites per, 20 tier two per PBN site. Um, we're, we're planning on building it out to be an, a total of 600 tier one sites. So that's going to be 12,000 tier two. So that's, um, it's going to take us a few months to get to that point, but we're working on it. So it's going to be very, very powerful.